Hello friends, in today's video, I will be talking about most important issue for so many people right now, job hunting. Due to ongoing global issue, so many people lost their job in recent time and now they are in the market looking for the new opportunity. Since demand is very low and competition is quite high, one need to act smart in order to get ahead from other applicants. Here in this video, I will be sharing job searching strategies that you might want to follow during your job hunting process. Ideas that I am sharing here is completely based on my experience and understanding. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Akasa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. About job search, Sometimes you might have a right set of skill, experience and education. Still, you are having a hard time to get a new job. Following different approaches, you may land up your dream job. Here are the things that you could do. Imagine you are a person who is creating job opportunity on a job posting website. In a few hours, you may end up having hundreds of applications in your inbox. So after certain number of applications, it's quite hard to keep up with all new incoming applications. Most of the recruiters may end up giving a more attention to first 10 to 15 application and they may end up finding the right candidate for the next stage. So as a job seeker, you want to be in that first 10 to 20 applicant list. That's where job alert comes handy. You can set a job alerts for your desired designation or for your dream company. So as soon as they post any job opportunity, you will get notified so you can act immediately. In my experience, many people, while they are applying to job posting, they only attach resume to their application. Since cover letter is always an optional thing, people don't bother to add one. Believe me, adding a cover letter with your job application will create a big difference. A strong and properly drafted cover letter will create a positive impact on a recruiter's mind. I get it. Adding a cover letter with each and every application will make you slower since you have to modify it each and every time. But I strongly recommend to add one because it will create a good impression on your job application. Once interview process has been completed, everyone tends to take a follow up if they do not get any response from the interviewer. I am not talking about that follow up. I am talking about the follow up after the job application. If you have noticed, each job poster has a contact information of the person who is handling that job posting. So once you apply to that job opportunity, you may reach out to that recruiter by sending a short message explaining why you applied to that job opportunity and how excited you are. By doing so, you are showing how serious and dedicated you are for that job opportunity. One thing to remember, you do not want to send multiple messages or detailed message about your skill and education. Since recruiter has your resume already, you want to keep your message short and simple. Appropriate job search. What does that mean? While you are searching for the job opportunity, you have to do it effectively. For example, applying to 10 jobs where requirements and job duties matches to your profile instead applying to 100 jobs randomly. You also have to make up your mind regarding what level of job you are looking at, where you are comfortably go to work and what are your salary compensation expectations. Once you have clear idea about all of those things, we can narrow down job hunting process and execute that effectively. Whether you are a job seeker or already working with any institution, it's always a good idea to extend our professional relations. It will help you to get more insight about industrial revolution, innovation, current market need and many more stuff. Also, such connections may end up helping you by providing a good reference while you are looking for the better opportunities. You can start making such relations by sending them connection request. 
approach them with your intention that you would like to connect for better reach that's it these are the basic ideas that i used when i was applying for the job i feel like to share it with you guys i can completely understand while you are unemployed and looking for the work it's quite easy to get frustrated believe me with the positive attitude and smart job searching strategies you will get clicked just keep doing it if you have any new idea in your experience please feel free to write it down in the comment section below by doing so i will get to learn something new on that note if you find this content helpful and informative please smash the like button to support my channel subscribe my youtube channel for more such videos see you in the next one friends until the next time goodbye